Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and I play Dead by Daylight, so you don't have to. Well, yeah, as you recall, yesterday, Dracula came out. We played Dracula yesterday. <laughs> the whole time. And the results of our stream were a mixed bag, I, I would say. I like Dracula. That's the first thing I'm going to say. I like Dracula, but the results did not yield. Uh, I mean, they weren't bad. Because, again, the results weren't bad. We played some pretty fucking good teams yesterday, and we got a lot of ties, if you recall. It was like, we we won one game, or technically we won two, but I chose to throw it out because... Uh, I forget why I chose to throw it out, but I, I threw that game out because it, it should have been a tie. And then... Uh, we lost one, and then we tied, and like the rest of the night, and then we won one. <laughs> so that that was our our result. So I knew I I wanted to get immediately get back in there the fo to the following day, aka today, yesterday, whenever you're watching this. However, I couldn't stream, so but I did get back in there and get a couple games recorded here for you because. We are starting to figure this shit out in a much more uh, effective manner. Um, so, the first thing that I want to kind of say here is that this killer, this is the this is a character with a learning curve. This isn't something where you're just gonna pick it up and you're gonna instantly know what you're doing. It's not like Skull Merchant where you're just gonna pick her up and you instantly know how to do everything single thing that the character has. It's just it's not like that. There's three forms here, and you have to work with each form, figure out the strengths and weaknesses of each form, and and, and then design a, a, a chase structure that kind of goes with them. And you'll kind of see the, the, the chase structure that I believe is kind of being developed here. you got to figure out how to manage the three forms and do the correct plays to actually figure, figure things out here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and kind of get started here. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. And this is going to be a little bit different because I'm actually going to be able to uh, pause and kind of go back here a little bit. So let's us begin, lads, and we can kind of go over a few things. And I'll talk about each form and some of the strengths and weaknesses that I have noticed here as well. We are moving here, right? No, we are not. Let's get moving here. There we are. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move me. So I am able to skip around a little freer. Okay, so our first match, Wrecker's Yard here. Uh, so right away, the character's first play, I think this is, everybody seems to agree on this. I don't. I haven't met one person that thinks this is the character's first play. Character's first play is Bat. It's it, undetectable and fastest movement speed teleportation options and increases his movement to the best of the ability. First play on the character every match is bad. Swap the bat immediately and just fly around and then you'll you'll find them. You will find them. You'll, you can hear gens, you have amplified hearing, you can obviously see their scratch marks. You can't see them, but that's okay. Because the bat may not be able to see them, but here's the thing. This is what I, I believe that his second play is the wolf. Second play is the wolf because um Unless you okay, if you spawn right, okay, unless the wolf, wolf is the play. If you don't know exactly where they are, if you see exactly where they are, it's a little more dependent on where they're at. But like, if you don't know where they are, wolf can come in here and you get those little scent orbs. So it's like, okay, I know that they went over here, and then wolf wolf spawns in with a pounce. This is important because he has to earn. And every subsequent pounce attack that he does, he has to collect two scent orbs in order to do it. Um, but he spawns in with one. That's important. But he spawn. So we see, we see our our chase target. Um, so we're gonna uh, we pounce, try to pounce at him, but we end up we don't hit him, but we basically hit him because we end up actually blocking something. And I've managed I'm, I, in both in, in both of the games we have here. I actually am able to do this multiple times where I I block something off. Well, so I found that this is something that the wolf form is actually very good for. Even though that the pounce attack may not be the most consistent thing, um, it, it it can it can help do this in the in, in zone effectively. So that that's something to uh, keep in mind there. Now, what another suggestion I'm going to make while we're on the subject of wolf. 
and this is this was actually suggested to to me by Wage, is this is a killer that uh, 100 sensitivity if you play on console with the controller might not be doing you so hot. 100 sensitivity on this is a this is not a 100 sensitivity killer. The wolf requires a little bit more delicate nature, delicate for lack of a better word. It requires a more delicate hand with, with how you control it. If you just kind of flick about with it, you're going to go fucking everywhere. It, and this can be true of the main form as well. Like, if you want to actually turn using Hellfire, we'll talk about this in a minute as well. You actually have to, like, if you do, like, a Pyramid Head flick, it, it's not going to work. And we'll compare him to Pyramid Head a little bit later here. But just an, an early suggestion there. You're, you're going to get spun a little bit more if you're used to 100 sensitivity, but the amount of control you actually get over the wolf is worth that sensitivity change. It just is. But anyway, we get that first basic attack here. Uh, now, we don't have a pounce here, so we might... So, again, this is, this is all still work in progress. Because we don't have a pounce and he got distance on us, the correct play there might have been to transform into the bat and try to get a window and try to catch up to him. Because the bat is an anti hold W ability, just like the wolf's pounces. The main form does not have a anti hold W ability. So if you get like a hit with wolf and don't have a pounce attack ready, the correct play might be the bat. But again, that's not here. Again, I, this is this is all still a work in progress here. So we opt to stay in main, and we actually did get a pounce here. But th notice we have a window tile here. Um, Wolf does not play the windows extremely well. It's kind of hard, especially a, a tile like this. We did go for one here to see if we could snag one. And again, maybe once you get better with the wolf, it will be able to. You will be able to know, like, be able to hit a little bit more consistent shit or more consistent blocks. But um, but the key is you got to know when to swap to main. And so probably we should have swapped to main a little bit before here. Main can play the windows a little better because because of Hellfire. And now let's go over Hellfire, because you just saw that you probably understand what I'm about to uh, fucking say here. Um, Hellfire's not very good. It, it, it's kind of a disappointment, because, because it did receive some buffs coming in from the PTB, and I was excited to kind of work with it, because it, it's kind of a projectile, and it, it, it's... Uh, it was something I was looking forward to working with. It is it, it, when you start with the character and you don't know how to control the wolf yet, you will find that the Hellfire is stronger than the wolf. And again, this is something that I had this experience, and others in my Discord, including Wage, had a similar experience where they came in as like, "Okay, Hellfire is a good wolf is rough," and then a couple games later they come in and go, "Okay, Hellfire is actually fucking trash." Well, they didn't say trash; they said the weakest. It's not terrible it's not terrible but for me to sit here and call it good it's not a good power uh what are the issues with it uh the first issue with it is that it doesn't have a lot of range it's it, it, again it's it has if it, it looks like it has less pet range than even a pyramid head punishment it is kind of a small ability it is kind of a small ability um next next issue is that it's it's small like look at this, like look at this and tell me that we shouldn't we shouldn't have gotten this hit. It's a small ability. You have to be very precise with it. Um, its best use is when they're trapped in, in an animation or something, uh, because like it, that that is a very small uh, ability, very 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 small. And uh, like a pyramid head punishment has more range. A nemeshit tentacle and alien tail have more range. They they all have more range. So that it it, it 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 that all that leads to feel that Hellfire is the weakest power. It's not bad. I'm not gonna call it a bad ability. The fact that he has it is is better than if he doesn't have it. I'm sure that Eerie makes it a little bit stronger, but it, Hellfire is is the weakest thing in the kit. Main form is the weakest form IMO because again the bat isn't really useless in chase either. However. You see that we have slapped Coup de Gras back on. Uh, to get my foot in the door with the character, I actually ran a perk I don't like. And that perk is called Rapid Brutality. If anybody recalls from the Alien video where we sh shit-talked Rapid Brutality a, a fuck ton. And for the, I still believe Rapid Brutality is a bad perk in this game. 
I 100% still believe that. You might, again, but again, on Dracula, it actually has a niche use. And the niche use actually can help you start to learn him a little bit. And I found that, it, yeah, I'm not going to badmouth the idea. Now, Wage has also claimed that Rabbit can be good on Trash Hilarity. If it's good on the Wolf, it also theoretically should also work on Wesker. And then Doctor Cl uh, Clown. There's some other characters that have an argument for it. I still think the perk is bad because Bloodlust is better than it's ever been. Including on Dracula, I think Bloodlust is not useless. Because, because Hellfire is weak. To say that Bloodlust is bad on Dracula is to assume Hellfire works in a lot of situations. And it just doesn't. Bloodlust is a stronger a stronger thing in the game than Hellfire is. But anyway. So, but one thing that I have found is that if uh, we talk about how good Coup de Gras is right now. Uh, we had a little discussion uh, in, in my Discord about Coup de Gras on Dracula. First, uh, what, what, once you once um, Rapid Brutality before the fit kind of finish up that topic. Once you like the reason why Rapid Brutality seems to have a niche role on Dracula is that it helps you learn the wolf a little bit because if you if you like collect a haste orb while Rapid Brutality is going off. You get tier 2 bloodlust speed for a couple seconds. So like you go pretty fast. And you can set yourself up for some more pounces. And learn a little bit more about how to control the wolf. Because you're going to be pouncing more frequently. Because of rapid brutality setting you up. So that is nice. However once you got the controls down. Immediately get rid of it. And put the coup de gras back on. Because coup de gras. Now wage says it helps the wolf. I haven't had a play with it on the wolf yet. I have had several plays with it with main. Because I think the wolf's pounce ability is better than Hellfire. And I think Coup de Gras has a tiny bit more synergy with Hellfire as well. Because you can do cancel plays. Where you where you bait Hellfire. And then cancel it. And then you slow down for a second. And then Coup de Gras can make some of that distance back up to net you a hit. So I think Coup de Gras is best on Dracula. With the main form. Which is what we just did there. I don't think we used Hellfire. But we used a coup de gras play with main form. To actually secure the down. Here. Yeah Jim went off. And he was there. And we were able to loop back around here. And we have Bloodlust too. Again Bloodlust is still good on this character. Because it's good on everybody. So again take that first hook there. This is going to be a tunnel game. I'm not even going to lie to anybody. Get that first Scourge hook in there. As you can see, we put our main build back on. Okay, immediately bat. Bat right to the killer shack there. Because that's where the... Uh, it wasn't... It, it, it was the closest vault to the gen. So it was the best play. But you can see how quick that movement is. That's a really nice movement. A lot of killers don't have movement like that, where you can swap the bat and they kind of get an instant kind of free teleportation. That's good movement in this game. It's kind of like nurse levels of movement. When you and you'll see that at our night during our next game. So we swap in here. There's somebody on the gen. So we, we immediately swap right off. We kind of we kind of lost them a little bit here. It's the uh, Ripley. See, there's Hellfire is just, uh, again, it's not that big. I mean, we threw it out there because like, there was no reason not to, but it was still not that good. Okay, we're gonna, we anticipate that hook rescue's coming, and it is, so we want to go back and pressure. And it was the correct decision because they both here, we were able to actually able to stop a heal by threatening Hellfire. See, having Hellfire is better than not having it. Just because it is the worst power does not make it bad. So we're gonna we're gonna swap back over, right? Continue this tunnel right away. Uh, see that we canceled Hellfire, and then he uh, didn't go to the window because he was he was scared of it. And then uh, bam, coup de gras. That's kind of was it, did we have a coup? Yes, we did. But you see, that's the kind of stuff that the main form can do with coup de gras specifically, where you can kind of threaten with Hellfire, get him scared of it, and then they make a poor rotation that gets them hit by a coup de gras attack. And again, Coup de Gras is 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 obviously I'm not is obviously stronger than the Hellfire ability, but 
the fact that there's there's a synergy there, like it, 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 it's it's decent, is good. And so we see we're occupying two people, so that we know that what we're doing is safe right now. We're just kind of waiting out DS time. We see he's getting to a pallet though, so we just say fuck it and pick him up. If we get hit, we get hit. But we're good, and we are able to hook him again. We know our play is right to that main building in the center again, in the shack. Because we know that's where the Ripley was hit last, and we are right. We know there's two survivors here because that one wasn't on it. Get this free hit. Okay, you're going to get that free hook. You're going to get that hook rescue. means we're going to go tunnel. Okay, we see a scent orb. Okay. And then we have the base bloodhound as well. The wolf is the best at tracking. Look, look how good this is. Look how good this is. Because we again, I must stress, I don't really know where they went. The wolf just having the scent orbs and the base bloodhound is just kind of being a, to a, a tracking tool almost. So we use our pounce to kind of catch up. And so this is the play. This is the part right here where we know where he is, and we go into bat, kind of how we talked about earlier. About, okay, we know where they are, but he has a lot of distance on us. So main form is bad, but wolf form is also bad because wolf is 115 trash without the uh, pounce ability. If wolf does not have pounce, wolf is 115 trash. Now, technically, it's a little better than 115 trash because it's, t it's small, so that height can kind of help you. But overall, if they have distance on you, and Wolf has no pounce. There was no reason to be in Wolf form. So what does that mean? Swap right to the bat. I probably should have teleported to that window. But at the same time, no, not really. Because uh, we we uh, kind of were able to keep track of him. And he didn't end up going that way. So uh, we probably should have stayed in bat form a little longer. But we were able to track him here. So we ju we just went for a Hellfire. Probably shouldn't have. Got a mind game of the shack tile here. He knows a hellfire is coming, so he goes to the pallet instead and uh, runs through it and takes the down here. We probably should have just picked him up straight away, but we were kind of scared of a flashlight. So we hit this and it's like, ah, fuck, the guy's under the pallet. Rough. And we know that there's they're all around here, so the next couple minutes of this is just like this game. If, you, uh, if you've played Killer, you certainly know what this is. Uh, the Twitch streamer, who is uh, the Obsession, was live. She was a solo. So, I do not know what this was. It felt like a solo, honestly. Uh, this uh, So, uh, I I'm assuming that's what this was. We have a misplay here. We should have really got this down. We just, well, a second, a little bit early on the coup de gras. Which was a, which was a theme this game, as you'll see. We should have had that down there, though. But then she probably would have picked him up, so maybe it wasn't the best play. Again, really should have had him there, too. But again, that really wouldn't have saved us, because we still would have needed to actually be on the Ripley. Everything ends up working out for us, but it's like, okay, they're going to be here. We might as well get that gen hit. Went for a Hellfire. So again, we, we're still in control. Nobody's doing anything. Except maybe the Ash, who we don't really know where he is. Okay, got them breed there. Took him out. Okay, it's like, okay, we know he's about to get picked up. So, what we're going to try to hit both of them is what we're trying to do here. So, we shoot it out, and we actually hit the Ripley, but uh, our target gets back up, which is okay. We're still looking good. We could have swapped to the Wolf there and have one for a Pounce. That might have been the better play, but we kind of had him anyway. It didn't really matter what we did. Knowing what form is good in a situation is the key to the character. Okay. Get over here. We want to break Shack Pallet, and we know that the slug is here. We got some scratch marks. Okay, we see who we're going after. The Twitchy is their best player, and we identify that very quickly. And so we're gonna go for him. Smack that, smack something here. We got three gens, so we say, fuck it. We're going to go over here, and uh, that's still regressing. And then, based on what we know about their location, this is why I say info shit is bad. Based on what we know about their previous location, I, I go, what is the, mo what, like, the most likely, and we just were over there. We didn't see them or anything. So that leads me to believe they're at that generator over there in the back. 
because like like I don't I don't need a perk to tell me that my game sense is telling me where they are, and sure enough, that's exactly where they are. Free down with the bat. I'm sorry I missed the swing, but overall, a free down with the bat because we were able to just show up, boom, out of position, good tele good good teleport, and then we could still basic attack her, even though we don't have an ability yet. We can still hit her. So we're going to go make sure we get this here hook. Okay, we see Ash. Again, possibly, maybe we should have went to that window up there. Possibly, but again, doesn't matter. Swap over, break that pallet. Get it out, because again, that's a stupid pallet. Kick this gen. Burn control. We, we, we are in advantage state. We we now know, we have identified that we are in advantage state. Something we weren't in once yesterday, streaming. Okay, Hellfire. We tried to hit both of them again. Hellfire is the character's best answer to body blocking. So he does, it at least does have that. This tile is weird. We kind of want to just kick this on everybody. Because again, Hellfire doesn't play it very well. And neither does Wolf. Go into the bat. Because again, they have distance on us. Did we have a pounce there? No, see, uh, yeah, we did we? Yes, we did. We we could have stayed in Wolf a little longer here. We could have went. We we could have went for a pounce before we swapped the bat, and probably should have. Make sure you're getting all the use of your tools. Did we use do that? Hold on. Yes, this is why I want to talk about Hellfire a little bit. We actually used it there. Did we? No, we didn't. We didn't. But I, I'll just go ahead and talk about it anyway. If you do a peer... Like, the, 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 the most comparable thing to Hellfire in the game is Punishment of the Damned. Kind of, sort of. It, you, you could say it bears a striking resemblance to a tentacle from Nemeshit as well, just as the way it goes over. It goes over a little bit more things than that, though. It's a weird ability. You have to, you have to test it to find out what it can go over and what it can't go over. That's, again, another learning curve thing that he has, but, but, uh, if you, but if you play Pyramid Head and you do a flick, you will know that the character will do, like, a quick little flick, right? Like, if he'll be drawing, you, you flick, he flicks, and then shoots it out, right? And it goes where you want it to go. So, that conditioning, uh, led me to try that with Dracula, and this is why Hellfire might feel clunky right now if you're when you're starting out. It doesn't work like that. You have to do a more traditional FPS flick in order to actually get Dracula to move and then shoot a Hellfire flick. Something which I actually don't do in this. It's something I need to work on when I'm, in, in, I'm playing him. To get those Hellfire flicks, you have to do a, a different motion with the controller than you do Pyramid Head. So I just thought I would say that. It is, it is possible to do that. You just have to. It, it's different. Ash is not here. He's who we're looking for. Or some, they're not here. But we find Ripley again. So it's like, okay, sure. We try for Wolf here just for fun. Because the main doesn't really help. And we actually do land a... Uh, we actually do are able to land a pounce here. I feel like she could have got to the pallet if she wasn't, like, bad. So, obviously a caveat there. But we at least hit it. We're actually going to scourge something here now. Okay, and, that, and then that's where we're going. See how quick that is? That 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 right there is very solid. Okay. We, we can kind of see where they're going. The one back to hook here. So, okay. Can cut him off and he, was, he had to go back around. This is his advantage state, man. Bat. Bat and to just teleport really far, really quick. That's really solid movement, man. Not a lot of killers can move move across the map like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the Ripley out of here. Because it's mid-game and who cares at this point. We're winning. I don't think she has DS. Even if she does, she's bad. So we'll be able to get her again. That was really funny. She wanted she she put her fucking trap up at the fucking pallet and just got full fucking wrecked. 
And I'm like, eh, well, it, I don't want to leave it up now because we actually do have a down, so who cares? Just just break it. Just break the fucking chemical trap, whatever. Who cares? We're looking for scent orbs, is what we're doing. See if we can get anything else on the ash. He does come back and swing around us, though. But we are able to uh, just re down her real quick. It's not that big of a deal, bro. We might have been able to actually M1 her there instead of like trying to breed a Wonder Vault. There. Did you see that? It was a miss, but it shows you the kind of movements you can do. Wesker cannot do that. What the wolf just did right there, I mean, he can, but it like takes a little bit longer on Wesker, I believe. But. But we but 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 it's like we aim for her like with a hundred sensitivity. You cannot do this play that we just did on controller. You can't. You can't do it. I I promise you can't do it. We probably should have switched back to main there probably after missing the pounce there, but it's not that big of a deal. Because again, sometimes one fifteen is just enough to get them. But again, we get the Ripley out of here. Going to bat. There's the gen. The dead man's is blocked off. Immediately teleport to the closest window. Ah, scratch marks, boys. We are in heaven. Okay. Could have probably stayed in it a little more and got a little closer, but that's eh, alright. We have Kude Gras again here. We want to save it. I'm trying. This is I, uh, the re the reason we're trying to save it here is I'm trying to do a wolf play with it. Like I want to see what the wolf looks like with it. But we're at a weird little spot where we kind of lost the scratch marks for a second. So there, like, there's the idea. He did have a pallet though, so it didn't really work there. But the idea is with the wolf, you do a coup de gras. After, you do a coup de gras play after you do the pounces, and like you should be able to pretty much catch up and then hit somebody. That's the idea. And then since the behavior is so cool and put a nice anti-camp feature in the game. That new hook timer is so dumb, by the way. Fucking killer did not need that nerf. They didn't. We did not deserve that ten extra, ten, ten extra seconds of hook time, and I will die on that fucking hill. We did not deserve that nerf. We absolutely did not deserve that. Okay, we'll just go find them scratch marks, bro. That's what we're doing. Alrighty. Use the pounce there. Uh, we were able to get that pallet down. I think Hellfire can actually shoot over that. So had that play fail, we would have swapped back to main and started shooting him with it. Could have probably went into bat here. But uh, it didn't really matter. We didn't really want to risk it. Okay, good. And again, if you get the two pa if you get the two scent orbs really quick, you can get a pounce back up pretty quick. Like, look, okay. We probably should we could have went back and got one right behind us there. So like it it, it 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 is technically your decision if you want to uh do that. If you want to just get the two scent orbs and then recharge the pounce again, I guess. If that gen wasn't there. Very possible we could have hit him there. Just want to watch that one more time here. But again, you have. Do you see the? You see that contortion we were able to make there? Do you see that? Boom, boom. Again, very likely if that gen wasn't there, that we would have hit him. So we did smack red gen. So again, maybe transform into batter main here after instead of just sitting in the wolf form for so long. The constant transformations that you want to be doing are to you want to make sure you're putting as many different kinds of pressure on as you can. We do see the other person though, so we decide to swap over just because we want to do it. Because again, we haven't downed this person yet, and we want to fucking uh, stay in the game as long as possible because we are in advantage. So the time to test stuff is like right now, and we have three stacks of coup as well.
long wall jungle gym here. But we are able to just get a nice hellfire on her and down her. Possibly could have gotten that with coup, but again, time to test is now. Let me look at it again. I'll be able to tell you once I look at it. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know if we would have got that with Q. It, it would have been very close either way. So again, actually Hellfire was actually the safer option there. Because Hellfire's range could actually hit her there. And Q's couldn't. Okay, that gen over there is blocked. So I go, okay. Get to Bat. Get to the closest window to it. And then you, the Bat has in, uh, heightened hearing and the scratch marks. So we were able to just go ahead and end this shit. Another pounce being able to swap the momentum of where he was going there. Because he was he wanted to go to that pallet there. But he couldn't. He realized he couldn't because the pounce was coming. That pallet over there is still up. So he does have a tile to play. So that kind of sucks. If you find a weak pallet though that you can leave up. Because remember, Bat can teleport to the pallets. So that isn't nothing. And again, with Coup de Gras, you can leave more shit up. And here's just Rosie being bad and whiffing Coup de Gras hits. Play no attention to that. And then there's the limb. Very good shit. But again, you can kind of see some of the structure of his chases. Whereas, like, okay, uh, I want to get a hit, swap into the wolf, pounce, and then go from there and see where they like, like, and see if I can either zone them off or sometimes can even hit them. Like, his chases have a structure. It's not just sit in one form forever. Wage says you should be constantly swapping. I don't think you should be constantly swapping. I think you need to do intelligence swapping. That's that's my take. I don't think you should be swapping for the sake of swapping. I think you need to understand every swap that you do, why you're doing it. It's like, okay, if again, it's, if they have a lot of distance and you have no pounce and you're with wolf, then you swap to bat. That's when bat comes out and chase. I don't agree with people just going into bat just to do it. I think because because again I think I think I don't think bat is weak in chase because I think the detection is still good and everything and if you're good at spirit you will be good at the bat. But uh I do think that the wolf is a little bit more consistent and the bat has more room for like additional counterplay and then if you think you have them and you swap out a bat and then you're in a different form it's like well fuck they still have distance on me anyway a lot of bat plays i see the bat play happen and then i'm just like they they got away from you there's no really point real point in doing that the best thing about the bat is you can close distance and then get in the range for the wolf to have another pounce because again once you catch up with wolf once you catch up with bat if they're not at a hellfire tile which again you will know from experience, what is a Hellfire tile and what isn't, then you go back into Wolf. Every play that you do with the swapping needs to be done with a plan in mind and a, a, a go, okay, why am I using the form that I'm in? What advantage do I have by being in this form at this tile? If you can't answer that question, you need to reevaluate why you're in the form that you're in. That's how you play this character. 100 fucking percent. That's how you do it. Because you have control over the form that you're in, you always you have no excuse to be in the form that is weaker at any given tile. You should always be at the form that helps you win the most. Be given the situation. So that would be our first game here. The second game, I felt like this was Swift. Like, I felt like this was Survive with Friends, our next match here. We will definitely get into it, though. And and uh, they were a little more coordinated. They weren't, like, good, per se, but they were a little bit more coordinated. We'll speed up here. Okay, next match is at Grim Pantry. Again, so look at, look at this movement at the start of the game. We swap to bat, and then we immediately go to that window on the far road. Like, look how quickly we were able to get up that floor. That is like a blink. Like, that is, that's a blink, everybody. That's what that is. It's good. Uh, miss input here. This was not intentional to switch, because, again, you see how we, like, held the button? Now, again, there is tech with that. 
like if you can, like I like you can if you hold the button you can like switch forms immediately after a bat like there's tech there and that's just something that we gotta get better with the muscle memory like if you know that they're there this can actually be helpful what what, what we just did there however we misinputted and we because we don't really want to be wolf right now we still want to be bat we don't know where they are. So that's see we swap right back in the back. Unfortunately, there's no window up there to get to get up there as quick as we want. Just don't really know where we there they are. We're lo we work a little bit slower this match than we did last time. Okay, we see them get the pounce. Uh, she she just kind of stood there, which is unfortunate because I thought we were gonna have the hit there. One thing that you, uh, this is something I want to bring up here as well. When you break a pallet in wolf form and the mist comes up, blocks your FOV of the survivor. You have to rely on that killer instinct to kind of figure out where they go. And then any set orbs that are dropped afterwards. Okay, we well, see they got some gens moving. Again, that mist input at the beginning costs us some gen time. Okay, got an early pallet here. We kind of decide, eh, let's just go ahead and kick it. Because I don't think the wolf can play it, and I don't think Hellfire can either. Look at the distance we kind of made up there. And then we swap to main, because we go, okay, she's, she, okay, like, do you see what, I, why did we swap to main here? This is very easy by now, if, if you've been watching this the entire time. We swap to main because we don't have a pounce left, and we, we're right up our ass. So we need Hellfire, that, because that's the most optimal thing to have right now. So we swap over to main, and we go for it. We unfortunately do not get the hit, but you can see the thought process. You can see the thought process. A, 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 much, a, more, a much more structured interaction just took place right there, where we kind of knew everything we wanted to do there. Break the pallet with the wolf. We have a pounce ready, so we don't want to swap into anything else. So let's go ahead and burn it, so, but just do the anti old w stuff. Get the distance. Okay, we have a range of her now, where we swap back to main, and now we're going to go for the Hellfire. Again, we miss, so we don't close the play out, but that, but again, that's the kind of thought process that, that you need to have with, 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 with this character. Loser, and they pop a gen, so right now things aren't going too hot. But we are about to pick it up. I actually just saw somebody that I didn't see playing the game. But this will be, we find them due to scratch marks, but I actually just noticed them here. Okay. We have to, we have we have coup de gras tokens to work with now. So we're not gonna go for the hellfire here because we, we're not going for hellfire because we're we need a hell state and, and coup is gonna give it to us. It's a much it's a much better, more consistent choice. Okay. Go for the wolf. Okay, kick that pallet. She vaults it, she vaults the window. She has lithe. Does she have life? No. No. That's death. That's coming. That's coming. That's not her. That's the next time we see her, I think. So we swing back over to her. Okay, here we go. Vaults the window. Has life. Check out this clutch coup or coup de gras shit, bro. Boom. Like, excellent. Like, look. Like... We could have gone for Hellfire there, but, like, Ku's just better. Like, it's more consistent. Hellfire, she would have more time to react and dodge it. Just fucking go for the Coup de Gras. It's, it's much better. But look how good Coup de Gras is, bro. Look how fucking good it is. It just ate life at Killer Shack. Just ate it. She probably maybe could have made a tighter turn there, possibly, or just held W, which would have caused us to transform into the wolf and go for a pounce. But, oh well, at least we got the down. Moving forward. Okay. No dead man's is so we gotta go make dead man's is happen with that. Oh wait, there's one. Great. I think that's what I said exactly what I said about playing. We don't want anything to do with main. So we wanna keep we wanna kinda of, kind of keep in this area. Great, there's somebody. Unfortunately we can't get up there with the bat, so we have to go around. She did we wanna make sure she put see if we make her drop, which we did. So y'all, you can kind of start seeing the structure that we're kind of going for here now. Flashbang, but check check this out. Well, I think flashbang is flashbang. Uh, what's it called? Uh, blast mine is bugged right now. Thank God. But look, we are able to 
hold complete our damage action despite being blast bind. Much fucking I like that. I like that part I like that version much better, bro. And there's somebody right there. Okay, great. Just they have reassurance there, but whatever. Just give me the hook trade. They have she was gonna go down at that point, so at that point you have to do the hook trade. Okay, great. Hooker. Get another pain rezzo. Went for the Hellfire just to use it. I did not actually think that was gonna hit her when we threw it out. Okay, we know this. We know that there's somebody over here. Make that dead man's, and now we're gonna swing around over here to the uh, Michaela who is at the dead zone up here. Run forward. Okay. We got spun there because we remember we just changed our sensitivity, so we we've, we've been getting spun. So we go ahead and take that. Okay, we want to transform into the wolf. Another miss input here. We go into the bat instead. That's a that's a miss input. You will have miss inputs on this character as you learn him, just by the nature of the control binding and shit. Just don't get frustrated with him. But again, we still are able to keep track of the Michaela in bat form and get the down anyway. So we get. It's not like bat is terrible. Like it's, it's not like bat form was a terrible play there. It wasn't terrible because we were it was still able to keep track of her and still get the down. We could have went for that Scorch Hook and probably should have, but this was a little bit faster. We want this basic attack here. Boom. And now he's going over there. So it's like, okay, now we have Wolf. Now we're ready for Wolf. Boom. Boom. Shit, we missed. Rough. But the idea, again, thought process. Have a plan. Go in with a plan. Know what you're doing. We have Hellfire here. I think we might actually be able to even shoot him. So I think we we actually have him under a lot of pressure there. Possibly not though. I haven't tested Hellfire at that tile yet. But we get the down, and we are able to uh, see a sexy score choke over there that we're gonna throw him on to get more uh, gen progress blown up here. And we know that all three of them are over there on the other side of the map. We know all three of them are over there. I think that's I think we know that because of healing. So it's like okay, that time we want to get over there asap. So, boom. Teleport to that window. Right here. Boom. Got a dead man's. And we want to get that other one dead man's as well. So, she's heading to main. So, fuck her. We want to swing over here. Great. Two health states here. We want to stay and pressure Michaela. Boom. Boom. Look at that. We're still in distance of her now. See, we made up a lot of that W for distance shit. Do you see how we did that? We made up a lot of that distance. Like, look how good that is. Look how good that is. And then, boom, back into main, because it's the best form that can pressure here at the windows and shit. Boom, down. Boom, shakalaka. So, okay, throw her on. We still got some pressure. We want more dead man's value. So come right back to our gen. That's going to probably have it. They popped that one. Oh, it's okay. Great. We, we've held, we held that second gen for a very long time. And we got some deadlock in play now, too. Okay. We, we, we've been nice enough here. Let's get the Michaela out. <laughs> Especially with their, with them like doing that that disrespectful save right in front of us, we want to make sure we get her out. We have to punish that save. It wasn't good. She's going back to a tile, which is bad for both forms. This is this is the kind of tile right here that he is his weakest at. Wolf form is bad at it unless you can like do hug tech with it, and then uh, main form is also bad. But coup de gras makes it like less bad, so that helps. But we're going to go ahead and tunnel two gens left here. So we want to make sure that we get this kill. Goes for a flashbang here. So like, she was just bad with it though. Okay, we want to see what we can block off with dead mans. We don't really want to, she's injured. So like, we if, we, if she's going to like have scratch marks here, sure. But we don't want to waste too much time looking for her. We'd rather block something off. Okay, we know somebody's here. Okay, now this... Okay, get that hit there. Now, we technically don't really have to go for this, 
because she's at like a dead zone, but we just do it for funsies. And it wasn't like the worst play in the world. Like she's still completely zoned off by it. Like we kept her away from Godlog with that, and we should have approached her from the other side, knowing that. But here comes the best example of the Hellfire cancel into a coup de gras, because this is God Tile. We cannot let her have this. It's God Tile. Now it, we do have coup, so like we might we, we probably could still get her anyway. But that's still a pain in the ass. We don't want to deal with it. So bait the Hellfire. She can't go to the window because if she does, we we can Hellfire her. And then she swings around. Okay, cancel. We need coup now. That's perfect coup distance. Perfect. That is how you main form right there. If you do not use coup de gras, main form is significantly the weakest form by far. With coup de gras, health, uh, hellfire canceling is, a, is a, like a very legitimate tech. Very good. He just missed that skill check and told us where he is. Fantastic. Bat. And then look at this. Look at the distance. We, look at the distance we just got by doing that. That is like nurse tier levels of movement right there. Okay, coup de gras. Get this hit. Burn that last stack there. We wanted to go into wolf there. That was a mistake. But again, don't let them know it was the, like. Don't let them feel it was a mistake, bro. Be good with the bat. If you make it, because again, bat is not horrible in chase. If you accidentally go into the bat when you don't mean to, you can still work with what you did. And I'm. Again, we even do it twice. Okay. This is... We don't really... This is main building. No killer likes this pretty much. So because he's hugging main, we're going to go ahead and leave him. We don't want to let the other two get the injures. We teleport from one building to the other. Again, that's fucking like nurse levels of movement right there. That's such good movement. And then we can swing around here. Boom. Scratch marks. We want to go after her because I believe she's dead on hook if I'm not mistaken. If I remember this correctly. She does have like the god log there. Okay. Hit her. And then we're going to swing back into the wolf. Because that's the right play. And then, watch, and then boom. Boom. Look at that. That was perfect right there. We don't hit her because she doesn't vault. If she vaults the window, she gets hit, so she doesn't have a choice. Pallet's already dropped, so there's so all we have to do after missing us is go, okay, pallet's dropped, just gotta stand by the window here, can't let her get it. She has to leave, transform back into main, or it, I don't think it really mattered. It doesn't really matter which form we were in. We would have been able to get her either way there. Ugh. I apologize, man. I have uh, fucking allergies. Okay, yeah, she's dead on hook. And then we go right back to where we know he is. This is kind of what the character's advantage looks like, man. Okay, we can press the right button this time and go into wolf, I think. Yeah. But again, this is kind of a weird spot for it, even though it's like technically the best play. It's kind of a weird spot. We can we can see we can get the basic attack, but we want to see if we can hit a pounce, and we finally actually do actually get one. <sighs> we do actually get the pounce here. We're gonna go hook him. She's right there. We know this game's over. She tried to flashbang again there when we looked up. Something I need to start doing is looking up a little bit more. And then boom. Hellfire punishes the pallet drop there. And then we, we're going to try... We tried to hit a sexy pounce here, but we'd be blocked by the tree. But it's okay. Get this down. And now we can go close it out. I was actually hoping that Hellfire would hit him. It was like almost... Just a little short. And then, yeah, we were going to go for a pounce there if we if he had kept moving, but he slammed in the hook like a dummy. Because he was looking behind him too much. Probably because he was anticipating a pounce to happen. So, he got fucked. And there you go. So, as you can see here, one the key to playing this character is to develop some kind of structure for the chase. I have given you mine. I think that is the best 
variant here. And now that my foot's in the door, I look forward to another stream on Friday, and we can actually fucking win on the stream for once, so that would be nice. <laughs> Anyways, lads, I'm getting the hell out of here. GG's.